In this episode of Motive Garage, presented by Spares Box, we get our Toyota Supra track ready with some suspension and brake upgrades. Now, our Supra, like most modern performance cars, has pretty good brakes out of the box. In fact, I was very impressed when I went and did a Super Sprint night in the Supra at just how good the stock brakes really were. So when it comes to upgrades, unlike 90s Japanese performance cars where you've got to buy upgraded calipers and full brake kits, you can get away with some pretty basic upgrades in a modern performance car. So just like our GR Yaris, we went to the guys from V-Sport and put together a basic package that addresses the small issues with a factory braking system. We've got upgraded pads from Endless which are going to give us more bite and handle better heat. We've got endless brake fluid, which obviously can handle temperature control better. In other words, it doesn't deteriorate with heat, doesn't boil. Uh, and we've got some Goodridge braided brake lines. So for better brake feel, and obviously same sort of deal, as it starts to get hot, they don't deteriorate as much. So this is a pretty good combo for improving the brakes on any modern car. And we did pretty much exactly this on our GR Yaris before we went to Bathurst, and it worked fantastic. So the guys from V-Sport said, this is pretty much the combo to go for with the Supra, which will enable us to have better pedal feel. Uh, the brakes will last longer before they start to get any brake fade. Uh, and we'll have overall more coefficient of friction from these pads. As you can see, it's pretty cost effective compared to spending $10,000 on some giant brake upgrade kit. So uh, pretty simple to install. We're going to get these into our Supra. And we can't wait to get to World Time Attack in Club Sprint class to see how well it performs. Let's go. With the brake kit from V-Sport installed, we took the car over to DNA Autosport to install the Verus Engineering adjustable strut tops and get an alignment more focused on circuit work. So as you can see behind me, the last minute build, which is the uh, Motive Video Supra, um, came to us uh, in the 11th hour, just before Time Attack. So the team were really happy with obviously the, uh, the uh, results from Jet 200, and uh, pretty much we didn't have a choice but to do the Supra days before Time Attack. So uh, look, uh, you know, always always happy to, um, to to work on their cars. So uh, yeah, it's it's here now, and, and uh, again, club sprint style build. Quite a, quite a simple uh, simple build, but uh, still something we can extract some results from. So as far as the the Supra is concerned, from a suspension perspective, I mean the, the car looks fantastic with the with the aero kit that it has. But from our understanding, the suspension is completely stock. So uh, we've got some uh, top mounts that we're going to throw in there because from factory there's no camber adjustment in the front. So aside from that being you know uh, I guess an alignment tool, we uh, we really don't have a whole heap to work on. Uh, so. What we're going to do is, uh, I guess, yeah, pop an alignment, uh, I guess, a setup in there. And uh, in comparison to a lot of the other club spring cars out there, to be honest with you, I think it'll be the only one with stock suspension. So um, I guess it's a, it's a good thing. As the years progress, obviously manufacturers get better and better at, uh, and, and stock suspension gets better and better. So the dampers and springs, you know, for, in the Supra are actually not too, uh, not too bad. Uh, in the case of the Supra, I don't think it's going to be a massive disadvantage over, you know, aftermarket coilovers or, or, or other suspension. But um, yeah, uh, what we have to work on really is uh, just the alignment. It will be a, quite a good showcase, I believe, of what a well thought out setup can do for a car. Uh, in comparison to Jet 200, where absolutely anything and everything was adjustable, with this car, we're, we're quite limited. So uh, Andrew, when he brought the car, pretty much looked at us and said, mm -hmm. 
So uh, that's basically where we're starting. Um, we've, we've been fortunate enough to have, I, I'd say, 15 to 20 Supras come, come through here. We've, we seem to have built quite a good reputation for them. So we've got a good understanding of, I guess, a baseline setup that we'll put in it, something that will really, uh, I guess, give some better results over the factory alignment. And uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing what Andrew can pull out of it at, uh, at Time Attack. Stay tuned for our next episode of Motive Garage with our Supra to see how it goes in club sprint at the 2022 Yokohama World Time Attack Challenge.